Hello, the internet. I'm Gav. I'm Dan. And in this video, I'm very keen to learn what the hell is going on with a candle <laughs> when you light the smoke. If you blow out a candle and then tap a flame to the smoke, maybe like a couple of inches up, the candle just relights on its own. And I'm wondering if that's a fast thing that we can't see or whether it's just magic. Yeah, I think slow motion should reveal something about that and we can see how it works that way. I've seen it kind of go poof, but yeah. I've never seen anything travel down the smoke to the know. flame. I don't know. So I want to see if that happens. Find so, uh, yeah, Dan, you be in charge of... Flicking matches? Yeah. Uh, doing the match business. Phantom's rolling at 2,500 frames a second, focused up around there. Yeah. Oh! oh. See, see to my eye, there's nothing happening there except no. the candle's just going... Phew. It just lay up like a candle there and just go... Phew, and let's, let's view the slow. So what I love about doing slow-mo guys is that it's fun, but also you can learn stuff directly from the footage. Like I just learned something from the footage I just shot because you can literally see the science yeah. happen. That's what I love about these cameras. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah. You can't see it in real time, slow it down, and it becomes more obvious. So explain what scientifically was happening there. So what's actually happening is the wax of the candle is being burnt and vaporized. And what you're actually doing is relighting the vapor trail of the material, the wax, and it's tracing it back down into the candle wick and relighting it again. So the smoke that we, s we saw being relit is actually just vaporized fuel for vaporized the candle. Vaporized fuel, yeah, pretty much. It's just vaporized material which you can then relight and it traces it back down into a safe flame. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. Maybe you learned something. I definitely did. <laughs> Be sure to follow us on Twitter. Buy a shirt, if you want. Dan, you keep wearing that shirt. How many of those shirts do you have? <laughs> but what? But there's like 12 in the... We've got like 10 of them. Do you keep taking them out of the prop shirt? Yeah. Do you really? Yeah. It's like opening a new shirt. <sighs> I wonder why the volume of that bag was going down. <laughs> just keep taking them. Someone's just going to the shed nicking them. As always, if Dan sees you wearing a Slow Mo Guys shirt, he will buy you a drink then and there. Even if there's no bar, he'll figure it out. He'll go to a shop with you and buy a beer. Similarly, any time that Gav is wearing a Rooster Teeth t-shirt, something that says something about him, he has to buy you... Well, that's, not, that's all I've got. Yeah, see? It's not my fault. <laughs> you can also subscribe to the channel if you don't feel like going for a drink with either of us. <laughs> see you in the next video. Oh.